Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. Uh, obviously, we want to start off on the right foot uh, on Saturday night against Dundee, and uh, you know we want to carry on what we've been uh, we've been doing these last you know five six games, where we've gone on a good roll, and uh, we got another couple conference games again, and they're all huge. So we got to keep rolling what we did last week into this week. I played with uh, their goaltender Joe Fallon in, in Las Vegas uh, in the East Coast, and um, I always thought he was a good goalie, and I think he's kind of their backbone on that team. If we can get some a couple goals behind them early, uh, you know they they seem to kind of you know f fall apart a bit, and uh, it showed in our last game where we got four goals in the first period, and obviously they were able to regroup after the intermission and you know start taking it to us on their home ice, but. Um, he is their backbone. They have a couple other good players, and um, you know they've uh, they've won some games as well. They they're on a tough run right now, really really tough one. But uh, they picked up a win on the weekend there against Edinburgh, and we just uh, they're going to be a hungry team. So it, it's our barn, and you know we want to set the tone and take it to them uh, for the sixty minutes. Yeah, I mean we've been uh, we've been talking about it all year, and uh, you know stuff uh, is starting to go our way, and um, we're getting healthy again, and uh, you know guys are you know doing the little things that it takes to you know win these games, and they're not all going to be pretty, but um, obviously our focus is to win the hockey games, and uh, you know get better every week. Uh, yeah, that does uh, it does play a difference. I think when we can throw three lines at teams and. Uh, we are a, we're a, we're a different team, and we can really you know go at them um, with our pace. Um, you know that helps too with guys getting proper breaks uh, in between shifts, and I think that's definitely huge. But obviously, it's just the stuff we've been working on in practice and the stuff Todd and Hutchie have been uh, you know preaching to us, and uh, guys just got to start buying in. And um, you know we we uh, had a tough go there for um, a bit there going into Christmas, but uh, you know stuff's starting to go our way now. Yeah, it definitely is a lift. Obviously, when you're playing shorthanded for a while, and um, you know, it brings uh, some fresh blood in and some energy, obviously, to the team. And uh, it was uh, couldn't have been a perfect weekend, more of a perfect weekend for us with, you know, winning those two games and going into Manchester, which is a tough rink to play in. And that was his first game, and obviously he got off a plane and practiced a few times with us. But that was it, and he was able to settle right in, and uh, he did a great job for us. Obviously, we want to beat every team uh, in this league, and, and the conference games are huge for us. And uh, for us to drop that one against Brayhead at home, it was it was frustrating. But uh, you know, we had to put that behind us, and uh, you know, worry about them next time we play them. We had to worry about Manchester that weekend, and um, we went into like I said, a tough place to play, small rink. It's tough going from a big rink to a small rink, and uh, I think we went down there. It's a tough place to play, and they've taken points from you know, from a lot of teams in this league, uh, especially at home. And uh, we took care of business Saturday night and set ourselves up for four points on Sunday and came home. It wasn't a pretty weekend, obviously, and the way they play, it's, uh, um, you know, kind of trap it up. And uh, for us to score first, I think it kind of helped us open up the game a bit. So, um, yeah, it was a crucial, crucial weekend for us and to build on, you know, the four out of five uh, before that one. Yeah, obviously we didn't get ourselves off to a good uh, start in the conference and uh, Brayhead's got a, a pretty big lead at the top there, but um, you know we're right behind them now and we play them a few more times before the season's over and we just got to you know, take each game. Um, you know, Every game in our conference is huge. Every game in the league is huge for us. So uh, we're in a good position, I feel, um, in the table and um, you know, we just got to keep building and, and uh, claw our way back up to the top of that uh, conference. Yeah, for sure. We gotta make our gap uh, between the bottom teams there, and uh, you know, start you know climbing up the standings here. Where I think uh, six points out of fourth and seven out of third. So uh, we just gotta we, with a couple games in hand on some of those teams, and uh, we just gotta take it game by game. And it starts this weekend. You know, teams behind us in the standings we have to beat, and uh, they're must win. So we gotta you know start Saturday night. Um, you know, get this building going again, and uh, and we'll worry about Sunday on Sunday. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, we set out to do that. Um, we stumbled a bit, um, but obviously there's a good amount of hockey left to play. And uh, if we can stay healthy and, and, you know, go on a serious run with, uh, you know, a healthy lineup, three lines, you know, 60 and the way always been playing all year, I think we can, you know, make a really good push. Yeah, obviously there's, um, you know, 20, 20, 20, 25 games left. And uh, if we want to do something, we have to put a serious run together here as a group. And uh, we've done a good job starting that so far. And um, we're just going to have to take it game by game and uh, really put, you know, put our work in practices and, and go over the stuff that we're, you know, maybe not doing right and um, just keep preaching it as a group and from the coaches. And, uh, you know, we're going to do our best to, to make a serious run here. Yeah, I mean, uh, the puck's uh, been able to find the back of the net for me, um, you know, and um, it's just you got to keep uh, your nose on the grindstone and sometimes the puck's going to go in for you and sometimes it's not. And, and I mean, I'm glad it's going in now. Um, I'd love to chip in uh, offensively as much as I can. And I just got to, you know, worry about uh, doing all the little things, getting working hard defensively, because if you're stuck in your own defensive zone, you're not going to be able to create chances to score goals. So. Got to worry about that first, and you know, doing things like on the penalty kill and that kind of stuff to help little little things that help the team, um, you know, win hockey games. And if the puck can go on the back of net, great. Um, obviously, I'd like to create offense as much as I can, but uh, you know, there's more to that than um, just scoring goals. So, the Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.